Listen up, okay? If you want to be in the 3% club one day, pay close attention to what we're about to say to you. Imagining that you're going to randomly get rich one day is just a delusion and a sign of an eternally poor mindset. You might need to do some work on yourself first. And with that being said, here are 10 ways to fix your poor mindset. Welcome to this channel, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number 1. Recognize your unlimited potential. The notorious business magnate Henry Ford once famously said whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. This quote encapsulates the profound wisdom of how our thoughts can shape our reality. It emphasizes the importance of our mindset in determining our success or failure in life. The quote highlights that the way we perceive ourselves and our abilities ultimately determines the outcome of any situation. It's a self-perpetuating game. The first half of the quote, whether you think you can, highlights the importance of having a positive mindset toward the thing you're striving for. If you believe in yourself and your abilities, you're more likely to be able to take action and pursue your goals. Your ability to overcome obstacles and find creative solutions to problems relies on your beliefs and adopting this mindset is the primary step to greater achievements, personal growth, and success and satisfaction. On the other hand, though, the second half of the quote, or you think you can't, suggests the opposite. When you doubt yourself, you're less likely to take action or put in the effort required to succeed. A negative attitude can be a self-fulfilling prophecy, leading to failure and missed opportunities. The quote also implies the power of our thoughts is so significant that it can actually influence our physical abilities and actions. It highlights the importance of mental strength and self-belief as our mindset can limit or enhance our capabilities. So stop saying, I don't think I can and start saying I can and I will and see what happens. Number 2. Never rely on luck. Focus on consistent effort instead. The Roman Stoic philosopher Seneca said it better than we ever could luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. You know, luck is a tempting concept that often lures people into believing that they can achieve success without putting in consistent effort. It's true that sometimes people achieve success through sheer luck or chance, but relying on it as a strategy for success is a risky and unreliable approach. Instead, focusing on consistent effort is a lot more reliable and sustainable way to achieve success. One of the primary reasons why you should never rely on luck is it is totally unpredictable. It is not something you can control and depends on outside factors like timing, circumstances, or the actions of others. Relying on the randomness of life means you're leaving your success to chance and that means you may never achieve your desired outcome on the other hand, though, consistent effort is something that you absolutely can control. It's a deliberate and intentional approach to achieving success, which involves setting goals, developing a plan and working hard to achieve those goals. Consistent effort requires discipline, focus and perseverance things that many people lack today and things that we help you to build for yourself. Number 3. Don't fall for get-rich-quick schemes. Believing in get-rich-quick schemes is a clear sign of a poor mindset, and this mentality will ultimately make you broke and miserable. Here are some arguments for those who believe that wealth can be accumulated overnight. First and foremost, get-rich-quick schemes promote a short-sighted approach to wealth accumulation. They feed on the desire for instant gratification, encouraging individuals to prioritize immediate rewards over long-term sustainable growth. This mindset is fundamentally flawed, as genuine wealth creation requires patience, discipline and a well-thought-out strategy. Second, these schemes often rely on a lack of financial education and prey on people's vulnerabilities. By exploiting misconceptions about money and wealth, they lure unsuspecting individuals into risky ventures with the promise of quick returns. In reality, financial success is built on a strong foundation of knowledge and understanding. Neglecting to educate yourself on personal finance investments and wealth management only serves to perpetuate the cycle of poverty and financial insecurity. Third, get rich quick schemes often involve unethical or even illegal activities. Obviously, probably every one of us knows at least one person who's in a toxic relationship with a Ponzi scheme. 
Participants in these ventures may find themselves entangled in scams, frauds or pyramid schemes which may not only have the potential to wipe out your hard-earned money, but also cause lasting damage to your reputation and integrity. It's a fact that people with a poor mindset will seek a shortcut to wealth. They don't enjoy hard work or discipline. Moreover, putting energy into Ponzi schemes actually fosters a culture of entitlement and a lack of personal accountability. It encourages the notion that wealth is something that should be handed to you rather than earned through hard work and dedication. This mentality is counterproductive, as it discourages self-reliance and perpetuates the belief that success is dependent on external factors rather than one's own efforts and choices. And those who know how to abuse your poor mindset, will they'll get rich, because you're not smart enough to realize the errors in your judgment? And this beautifully leads us up to number 4 call yourself out on your own bullshit it's important to seek critical feedback from people you trust. We'll dive into that later in the video. But there's no one walking the earth who knows you and your BS better than yourself. So if you catch yourself doing or saying something stupid, it's your task to acknowledge it and fix it ASAP. This is called self-awareness, and believe us when we say a lot of people lack it today. Personal accountability is vital if you want to become successful and fix your poor mindset. And if you're watching this video, know that you are on the right path, my friend. Number 5. Stop hanging out with losers. You've heard us say it before, and it won't hurt to hear it again. You are the average of the 5 people you spend most of your time with. It's not a catchy phrase. It's not cliché. It's the facts. Think about it. Successful people have already achieved what you're striving for. They've overcome the obstacles, pushed through challenges, and achieved greatness in their respective fields. By spending time with them, you have the opportunity to learn from their experiences, soak up their wisdom, and adopt their successful habits and behaviors. Furthermore, successful people have a contagious energy and attitude that can rub off on you. When you surround yourself with individuals who are driven, ambitious, and passionate about their goals, well, it's hard not to be inspired and motivated to do the same. On the other hand, spending time with losers, those who have a negative mindset, they lack motivation and are not actively working toward their goals can be detrimental to your own success. Their negative energy and attitude can drag you down and reinforce limiting beliefs that hold you back from achieving your full potential. And losers usually do the same things over and over again. There are good and bad routines out there. You could choose to party all day, drink and consume all kinds of substances just to kill your boredom and act rebellious. That's up to you. But eventually you will get bored, and there will come a time when you'll wish that you spent all of that time differently. Number 6. Stop thinking like an employee. First, let's establish what we mean by thinking like an employee. This mindset is characterized by a passive approach to one's career where you follow instructions given to you without questioning or seeking out ways to innovate or improve. It's essentially a comfort zone where you rely on others to dictate your actions and responsibilities. But this is a mindset for those who like to play it safe. And playing it safe is not an option. It's in fact, limiting. And we promise you, there'll be no pot of gold waiting for you at the end of that rainbow. Others will reap the fruits of your labor while you will be left with crumbs. We're not saying you should quit your job now, but maybe it makes sense that you also do something for yourself in your free time, and eventually you might be able to turn that into a business. Number 7. Make it a moral obligation to yourself to learn something new every day. Your capacity to learn is a gift, your ability to learn is a skill, and your willingness to learn, well, that's a choice. There's nothing more you need to understand. Learning something new every day should be a primary goal on your to-do list. Follow this rule and see the results. Compound your knowledge will speak for itself. Number 8. Invest in yourself first Investing in yourself first is the cornerstone to overcoming a poor mindset, as it demonstrates a commitment to three things personal growth, self-improvement, and self-worth. By allocating time, energy, and resources to your own development, you send a powerful message to your subconscious that you are deserving of success and capable of achieving it. 
The confidence and self-esteem you gain through investing in yourself will propel you to new heights, opening doors to opportunities and connections that were previously unavailable. As you expand your skill set, cultivate healthy habits and learn from life experiences, you will discover the untapped potential within yourself, ultimately proving that your limitations are self-imposed. Moreover, this process of self-investment creates a ripple effect, transforming not only your mindset, but also your relationships, career and overall quality of life. So before you throw your money into assets, for example, make sure you know what you're doing first. The best investment you could ever make is in yourself. Number 9. Ask for constructive feedback from people you respect and trust. Asking for constructive feedback from individuals you respect and trust is a powerful strategy to transform a poor mindset into one of growth and resilience. If you actively seek their insights, you demonstrate three important things a willingness to learn and evolve, an openness to change, and a commitment to self-improvement. Constructive feedback offers invaluable perspectives on your strengths and areas for development, which might be difficult for you to identify independently. And this external viewpoint allows you to better understand your current capabilities and chart a course for your future growth. By embracing these observations, you cultivate a growth mindset, acknowledging that your abilities can be nurtured and refined through effort and determination. Just make sure they come from a reliable source. While your opinion of yourself matters the most, it is important to know how other people perceive you as well. Number 10. Stop flirting with procrastination Those who flirt with procrastination may believe they work better under pressure, but in reality, they're just setting themselves up for failure. Procrastination can lead to rushing to complete your tasks at the last minute, resulting in lower quality work that is not reflective of your true abilities. Flirting with procrastination is a sign of a poor mindset because it demonstrates a lack of discipline and self-control. It shows that a person is more interested in short-term gratification than in long-term success. And if you're neurodivergent and struggling with procrastination, you need to be aware of that and put the systems in place to save you from that fate. Because we all know that preparation, long-term thinking, and getting shit done is a sure path to wealth and well-being. And with that being said, it's time to wrap this video up. But not before we ask you the following question, what do you think is the number one thing that keeps people forever poor? Drop your answer in the comments below. We're always curious to hear your thoughts on the matter. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to return the favor by tipping us with a like and a share. And as always, thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn some more, hey, check out this video. Next.